is test test. Uh, let me know how uh, my sound is. I go boot us up my new city. Articulating splines. Hang on one second. Is your holiday shopping boring? Take a okay, break from buying for others and give yourself the good stuff. Articulating splines. Get up to 50% off on action games like Battlefield 4, Titanfall, Mass Effect, Need for Speed, and more. So shop for the boring stuff later. And take advantage of great deals on action games with Origins Holiday Adrenaline Rush. All right. All right, then. Take a okay, break from so. buying for others and give yourself the good stuff. Articulating spline. Hang on. Get up to 50% off on action games like Battlefield 4, Titanfall, Mass Effect, Need for Speed, and more. So shop for- There we go. Get my video preview thing up. Yep, yep, I, 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 I stomped the ad and thankfully it wasn't the, it wasn't the milkshakes and All right, that's it. Uh, by the way, this is a DOSBox um, program because the game is that old. So I'm uh, doing a little bit more fighting with uh, uh, the game and finagling than I am used to. So um, if I do a little bit more window shifting, then uh, that's why. <laughs> okay, well, welcome everybody and... Uh, Thank you for stopping by. I am Pinstar, as uh, most of you probably know, and uh, this is SimCity 2000. Now, to give you a little bit of a background here, SimCity 2000 was not my introduction to the city builder genre. Um, that was that would be the original SimCity for the SNES, but the original SimCity for the SNES made me an instant diehard Maxis fan, and uh, this game was made back when Maxis was just Maxis. So you can get a very different vibe from this game um, in ter uh, compared to some of the later uh, uh, SimCity games. SimCity 3000 uh, was made technically all on Maxis, but EA was starting to look over their shoulders. And uh, SimCity 4 and beyond were all uh, done under the auspice of, uh, of uh, being owned by EA. Uh, but I have a... <coughs> Excuse me. I have a little tickle in my throat is what I have. Um, hey, quiet girl. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I have a little bit of a history with this game. Um, this game kicked my butt many, many different times uh, throughout my uh, course of attempts to playing it. I actually gave up on it for a little bit. I, I figured it too difficult to win um, to, to build a successful city and just... Just called it meh. I, I, I lose, you won. But then I came back. <laughs> yeah, I came back. I came back with a vengeance. So, uh, yeah. Um, I eventually uh, got uh, good at it, so uh, let's see if I, uh, if I still have it. Um, hey, Al Alina. Um, thanks for stopping by. Let's see if I still have the old touch or if my city will go belly up. Uh, let's see, new city, no, 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 no. Uh, let's call this, uh, in honor of my old banished series. Picklewood. Now, um, for a little bit of humor here, I think I'm going to start us off in 2050, in the future. Uh, or the future according to 1993. Um, so I'm curious to see what things they are predicting uh, for 2050. Ah, yes. Yeah. So the uh, the game features a newspaper, and this actually um, no, this this didn't make it um, uh, back uh, um, to to future incarnations of the game, and I thought that was something that was missing because this the newspaper. I mean, it it gives you um, you know some fact factual stuff on your city you know if your city is 
crime rates crime rate is going high it'll not only tell you that the crime rate's high it'll start running stories saying like you know mugger mugs old woman and you know and whatnot or if your city's doing well it starts running all these human interest stories so you can really get a feel for your city it actually uh feels like you know a hometown that you're proud of i mean heck when you build a stadium it starts running a sports column and tells you how your home team that you named is doing that's freaking awesome i mean what other reason would you want to do it in, in other games it's just like oh yeah it increases residential terrain values uh that's great right, let me see if there's a way to expand this and pause this while i'm at it Pause it, good. Gonna, ah, yes, you are gonna let me stretch you out. Good. I think we're gonna get along here just fine. That's more. Good. Yeah, my banished drunk stream. Um, okay, so here is our randomly generated map for Picklewood. And yes, that is the proper way to pronounce it. Uh, I need to pick ourselves a place to start our city. Um, and I'm thinking this little boop right here is probably pretty good. Because uh, you want to start somewhere flat. You don't want to be fighting with other uh, some of the other stuff here. Um, now, let's see. How to zoom up. There's a handy. Get it. Oh, yes, the soundtrack. I forgot about the soundtrack. Um, yes, this is part of the soundtrack. The little twinklings and the rattle thingy. Oh, boy. I know, it has been too long. I apologize if I'm a little bit slow. Uh, let's see. Those are power lines. Actually, you know what? Nope. Hang on. I think I can do a little bit better than that. Let me tone it down manually through OBS. There, I've, uh, I've cut it. I've cut in-game sounds to half power here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yes, the music is rather eccentric. Uh, okay. So sorry about that. Okay. Oh, right. There uh, are neighbors. Um, and here you only get f you only get four neighbors, um, and they're right right bastards to you if you try and do deals with them. Um, all right. So, but we're not going to be dealing with our neighbors. Uh, budgets. No. Those are fun stuff. Disasters. Those are rewards. Hang on, I'll, f I'll find the power plant soon enough. Ah, you have to click and hold the, the zot. That's the official technical term for it. Mm. Because of that. Z All right. So what shall we, uh, what shall we invest in? Well, the, the hallmark of the thing here has always been the coal power. Dirt cheap and uh, um, lots of power 
And we only got 20k to start us off with, so we don't have a lot to uh, play around with at the moment, anyway. Uh, the alternative is solar. Solar is a bit more expensive. Um, microwave is actually really, really good, but it's more than we can afford right now. And uh, um, for solar, well, we could do solar. Um, it would be a bit more expensive. You know what? I'm going to go with solar. I'm going to do solar. I'm gonna, we're going to make this a clean... Actually, no, don't bother, because we're going to have a dirty industrial section anyway. So, all right, yeah, here we go. Power plant nestled right here. Whoop! Out on the edge of the map. Find it, Mr. Game. Mickey Pants. And yeah, let's look at the connection. Yep, click and hold for power plant. Alright, the next song is uh, kicked on. Let me know if uh, in game music is still too loud for you guys. Uh, I can kill the in game music. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna do that anyway because. Uh, uh, the soundtrack this game was not known for. I mean, it's got some old classics to it, don't get me wrong, but. Uh, there's some. We'll keep the sound effects in because they're not too bad. All right, we're going to get ourselves... Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Yeah, here we go. Click and hold, light industrial, dense industrial. We're going to go with the light stuff right now. It's cheaper to lay down. And I have a little bit of a... A uh, little bit of a trick, a gambit, if you will, um, that uh, plays off of it. And I forget what the distance requirement... Still too loud? Too loud for the sound effects or too loud for the music that, that I just turned off? We'll do... That... Here. I think it's three tiles you can go from a road, but uh, I don't know for a fact. So we're going to have to uh, experiment. Seventh, oh, I think we, yeah, we need to go and let's get a nice long road from the industrial zones. Oh yes, you can just write. Good. All right, get ourselves some basic commercial zones going here. Do we? You know, you know what? For science, we'll do it four from the tiles and see if that actually. Uh, You want some music? Hmm. Little of the sound effects. Let me, uh, I toned the, uh, the rest of the thing. Let's draw our road out here. It's probably some really lousy. Oops, didn't mean to. Oh, and we will circle this up. I don't know why the sound effects uh, killed themselves, but. Okay, good. Yeah, the music was, uh, yeah, uh, best served in small. Uh, okay, now, if I remember correctly, our, I think we, the, the streets are not powered like they were in the previous game. I think you actually need to bring them through the zone. The zones will take them over. Um, all right, water. Yep, yeah, we do. We this is the this was this game was the introduction of the underground layer. 
um, which was at the time a very, uh, very advanced thing. Um, now we have here a nice source of fresh water so we can get ourselves a and, and same same deal here is uh, I'll lay some piping along along the here. Once we, once we unpause the simulation, this stuff will kick into action. See, yeah, all the zones are just sort of like a mishmash network of pipes. Okay, um, now how do we get out of the... Okay, there we go. Those are trees. Mass transit. Ah, yes, so the, the subway, the rail depot, I like the rail. But we're cities too, a little bit too. That. All right, so let's um, let's put it on turtle speed. Oh, well, yeah, that would help if I ran power lines to the actual power plant. Mm -hmm. When I was a really really little kid, I didn't know what those little lightning. Um, when I was playing the original original. underground coding yeah okay so we're starting to get some development here I think mm -hmm. we need to put a little zot over there so we can get some seed development on right. and all right so yeah this is as zoomed in as we can get you know no disasters I'm not quite ready for that yet Hey, April, thanks for stopping by. All right, let's uh, let's kick the speed up a little to llama. And yes, this is uh, this game was the first time that they started their llama thing as it being the normal speed. Um, oh yeah, many llamas to come afterwards. All right, um, are, are we only going to get two? Uh, two? Nope, we're going to get three. We're going to get three. So I do think it is three away from the road, if I'm not mistaken. And so right, yeah, right now we're just getting a bunch of industrial developments. Mm -hmm. uh, a little. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, mm -hmm. just building the, the power lines in the zone itself. All right, see, how are we doing? We, we made a dollar and we lost uh, nine dollars. So, no, we lost um, treasury. So we lost two dollars. No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, now I know why. Those need some uh, power, and our uh, pumping station needs power. Otherwise, no one's going to get any water. There we go. We got some developments going. There we go. All right, now we got already got our first thing of traffic going. Okay, I suppose. <laughs> Actually, all right, well, the highway tunnel on ramp, bus depot. Yeah, now the buses in this one are a little bit gnarly because they are they are a two uh, two by two um, uh, configuration here. So they eat up a lot of freaking space. And I do mean a lot. All right. All right. Now the and here's the trick. If you if you guys are trying to get into this uh, to this game and you're having trouble making ends meet, the trick is like your 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 main thing is like okay, I, we got to get all the necessities. If you play it like The Sims, where uh, all right, we're we're still losing a little money, but it's we're we're not doing bad. We we still have time before people our zones aren't fleshed out. Uh, but if we look at the RCI meter here, we need a lot more residential. So actually, it might behoove us to, uh, to zone for more of that. Dense residential. Light rise. Actually, no dense rise. We want because we're going to be going seaside property here. There we 
Uh, it's going to be some luxurious, luxurious manners. There we go. Oh. Oops, nope, no, no, no bus depots. Thank you. And um, yeah, we'll um, we'll make this stuff right here in the middle. Oh. Three away. If I remember correctly, lower terrain, just a dollar. Ordinary unemployment. What do we got here? Formal survey of Ficklewood residents disclosed that local unemployment exceeds nationwide average. Near Sim 2000 mayor answered by saying it was unfair to include kidnappers in the survey. Again, Max's, uh, uh, Max's humor here. Mayor Martin of nearby Renton commented, denizens demand jobs in order to maintain decent living. This includes eating and killing. <laughs> I understand this principle, he continued. That's why Ficklewood residents are flocking to Renton. Mark my words, if Mayor Sim City 2000, change that from now, doesn't improve his employment, I'll be happy days for me. Weeping one moment, snarling the next, the bereaved uncle burst into song over the news. Yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so then. Well, I know it said unemployment was bad, which is the opposite of what you want to be doing when you're doing uh, residential zones. NATO war. I'll get some pipes laid down here. We are, um, you're still, uh, we're still losing four bucks, but four bucks a year is not uh, the end of the world. Ah, our industrial zones are going belly up. That's why. Because they want more workers. That's why. Um, we ended building, water, no. Okay. But we don't have enough water pressure. That might be a reason why the industrials are getting themselves abandoned. Hang on. Another one in here, see if that increases the pressure. There it goes. Why all the industrials were abandoning the, abandoning. Yeah, see look, they're all springing back to life. They are all springing back to life. That's good. That should take care of the unemployment problem. Um, residential. Hey, we made 17 bucks. We're in the money. We're in the money. Citizens demand police. Well, well then, we are not going to be in the money for too much longer, but who am I to argue against that? You guys want the cops? We are going to give you the cops. Now, for a nice centrally located place, right about There you go, Mr. Freezemans. Mm -hmm. The IRS does not sound fun. All right, let's see. One, two, three. What would be the next one going down? I placed the station perfectly. That was totally on purpose, I swear. All right, so we got two, two paths to the industrial zones here. Uh, looks like industrial demand is starting to kick up. So let's uh, let's give the peoples what they want. They want more industrial zones. Is is he's gonna get it? Here and actually, I'm probably just gonna flatten this terrain. Um, cause yeah. 
Um, yep, we're, we're back uh, back into that, but uh, not as bad of a drop, especially since we just started funding the police station. Mm -hmm. Fire protection demanded, and more water. You, you people are freaking thirsty. Neighbors. I forget how many uh, things of water were needed to, to actually do this, and I think, I swear, that they actually took the time to deal with water pressure. Yeah, see, there, there's another one. Yeesh. There we go, that should, uh, that should do it nicely. That alarm that sounded now? You know what? For some reason, I must not be hearing the in-game sounds, but you guys are. That's kind of weird. That is very weird. Um, oh yeah, ordinances. I forgot about ordinances. Let's see what we got here. All right, sales tax uh, gives us income, but hurts that. Income tax uh, hurts residential. Legalized gambling gives us money, but uh, thing. parking fine. Let's do parking. Pro reading campaign. I always like in it. Anti drug campaigns. They don't actually work in real life, so I'm not going to. Neighborhood watch. There's a good one. Energy conservation and uh, nuclear free zone, even though the nuclear is nothing to worry about. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, public smoking ban. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get behind that. That is weird that you guys. Hang on. Let me just try something real. Hmm. Interesting. Well, all right. Well, you guys are gonna get to enjoy the sound effects, and I'm gonna be left out in the dust. Oh well. I shall deal with it. Um, all right, uh, junior sports. I like, I like, ah, there it goes. My, uh, my headphones were not in all the way. Um, carnival, no, we don't need any of that stuff. Okay, so, boom. Oh, ka -ching, ka -ching. All right, industrials are growing nicely. Commercial zones, the commercial zones are growing nicely. So let's give the people what they want. Boop. That, no, we're not going to do it. We're not going to spam connections. There we go. Ooh, big one. My favorite part in the game is always seeing these these new construction zone area thingies and saying, oh, what's it going to be? What is it going to be? Because whenever you see this, you know, two by two structure going up. And sometimes they can get pretty hefty. And part of the fun of this game is uh, that's like some expensive freaking land. Holy crap. This it's uh, going quickly. Ah, we're starting to get some condos already. Nice. Nice. Condos are good. Condos are what pay the freaking bills. That's what that that's what they are. Picklewood awakens. What do we got here? Headline. Hats off to Mayor Sim City 2000. I really need to rename that. I need to figure out how to rename that. Uh lower the volume a bit more for you guys. Sure. Hang on. There, I, I dropped OBS down to 20% because there's no volume slider in the game itself. Uh, anyway, hats off to Mayor SimCity 2000. Um, nurtured Ficklewood from its infancy to a robust population of over 2,000 denizens who are proud to present the mayor with a private mansion. They peacefully raised the fund. This grandiose token of appreciation is available as soon as the mayor picks the cherry spot on which the not-so-humble but well-deserved abode. One, one out of ten survey didn't understand it all. 
A local historian was quoted as saying, it proves the more this, things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> yeah. A spokesman for the family called a pro press conference. It was late. One reporter uh, stayed behind to berate the spokesman. The cars I'm worried about. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love you, game. And here's where we get our, our lovely mayor's house, our, our domicile, our, our mansion. You know what? We're going to give ourselves. We're going we're gonna to do it right here. Yeah. Yay! We love you. All right, let's terrain. Lower terrain here. Uh, what? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> I forgot that they do that. That they sometimes get pissy when you alter the terrain or build over forests. Oh. Silly environments. Can we clear the forest? There. Or is that just an excuse to say clear the forest before lowering the terrain? Whoa! What the frig? What happened to my house? Why is there a lake? I just wanted you to... Just wanted you to... Uh -huh. What is that all about? I just wanted to flatten it. I didn't want to blow up my house. Okay, let's try that again. It was rather noisy. Okay, I just wanted to move the road here. Don't kill me, people. Here today. Whoa! Making the money here. Well, our, our giant parking lot finished. That's always a good thing. Look at all these condos here. This is this is a hip hopping in neighborhood right here. Um, and some traffic. Yeah, we got some traffic. Well, you know, let's let's uh let's deal with that. Let's uh Pop a bus depot here, and uh, let's pop one right here. Eh, 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 eh. Eh. Hey, you're not letting me demolish. You know, you know what? You guys are tricky. I guess I can't just willy-nilly destroy parts of the city. Actually, this is more realistic than I remember it being. I was one of... There we go. Yeesh. People are fussy. Yolando Wanzo, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Welcome to my, my cabinet, I should say. All right, what, what's RCI saying? We, RCI wants more, uh, wants more industry. All right, well, RCI wants industry, RCI gets in. All right, big old room for some factories right there and some there. And let's do another layer here. Lop. Lop. No, we don't, we don't need a bunch of redundant connections. Fire protection demanded A. Well, we have some we have some income coming. Um, oh, schools! Kind of forgot about those. Let's uh, let's get the let, let's get the little tyke some education. Oh, I remember. So one of the things is you want a barrier between the industrial zones and the residential, but you don't want it too wide. But you got to put something useful in. And commercial zones don't really care for the pollution either. So the best barrier are schools, because in this game, it doesn't matter where you place the schools. So, yeah, let's fill your lungs up with some black coal, uh, little guys, while you get your edumacation. 
Uh, 125, even with that. Nice. Um, yep, plenty of, plenty of room. Pardon. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, the, yeah, there's no budget sliders in this one. That, that wasn't introduced until later. So we just build more building. Hey, a Maxis theater. How the heck did I get that in a city this small? This thing's usually hard to get. Uh, I know, the kids will love it. All right, what's going on? Oh, gosh, my, my commercial zones are in the toilet. You guys want more industry. You guys want more industry. Let me see. All right, well, more industry then. Industrial? One, two, three. Crossroads going. And different kind of crossroads build. All right, still making money. That's good. That's good. Still at traffic, right? I think should probably plop a bus depot. How are we doing on water? <laughs> on way behind. Yeah, I remember water being a beast to keep up with in this game. Just required so many freaking pumps. Just for fun, let's do a water bar right here. That should get us uh, okay. Our rich. The rich section of the neighborhood is doing poorly, unfortunately. All right. Even weather. I don't know if that actually has an impact on. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Turn you guys from light industrials. Well, I guess that, I guess uh, overlapping uh, with higher densities uh, was not introduced in this one. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm getting my, uh, they spent all their money at the theater. Yeah, that is one resilient theater. All right, residentials are back in vogue. Woo! So we should start seeing some revivals up here. Yeah, actually, rather than fight with the terrain too too sharply, here I have an idea. We are gonna build upwards. That. And we're going to yeah, whoop, build up here. Have the scenic route. And you know what we'll have some some hillside uh hillside houses here. Yeah, you can't do them on diagonals here. They don't have that whole build it into the terrain thing. And hey, some light, uh, some light development up here never hurt nobody. I'm going to well, uh, let me see if I can try to demolish the forest here. Good, good. And no one's screaming at me. Good. There. Now, let's see if we can lower the terrain 
Actually, no, we don't want to. We want to level the terrain. There. All right, let's have uh, let's have uh, another high side here, but this time denser angels. There, maybe red. Yeah, I think it's it's three from the road is the rule of thumb for two thousand. Otherwise, they won't develop. Making money. Uh, oh, right. Let's get a bus depot up here. Don't want that. Oh, it might need to. Might be helpful to run some power lines up there. <coughs> uh, I've been spoiled on the whole. The roads carry all the resources they need. And once again, with our water not, not, uh, not uh, being, being so good here. I'm going to try something. Okay. Critically, yeah, you, get, you can place aquifers here. Here. Pipes down here. And then um, power line here. And that should start piping the water to the industrial zones properly. Good. People. $200. Nice. Um, there is a time constraint here in that your power plant will eventually blow up. Yes, they don't age gracefully. They reach the end of their lifespan and they blow up. And you have to better hope you have enough money to uh, replace them, otherwise you are dead. Mm -hmm. This one lasts 50 years. It is 15 years old, and it is 67% capacity. All right, we're starting to get some of our stuff up here. Oh, yeah, i got to run more of these down here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder who actually voiced the sound of the z sound effect. I wonder if mm. that's Will himself or just some random sound guy. Mm. And we are so we are like the slumlord right here. Our mansion's right in the middle of a bad section of town. All right, how are we doing? You know, what? let's look at the newspaper. Oh yeah, and as your city gets bigger, you get more newspapers to choose from. They're functionally the same. We want fire stations! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cankerous capitalist running dog lackeys. All right, we're, we're, we're going to occasionally pause to read some of the newspaper stories here, just because they're freaking funny. Uruguay noted yesterday that it was supports capitalist running dog lackeys in their peacekeeping efforts the capitalist running dog lackeys destroyed the opposition's supply depot in their actions they reported were the only way they might avert hostilities. <laughs> Dictator Alberte, carefree with the news, sputtered, I'm not sure we should begin proceedings for, this, for the root of all this violence. His only child, Arthur, agreed these actions would undoubtedly spark further violence, uh, perhaps commanded by the bright dictator himself. Survey taken among schools indicated that children enjoyed watching the proceedings. <laughs> what the fr- <laughs> Oh, all right, let's do one more, one more. Um, oh, Miss Sims, uh, Miss Sims advice. Dear Miss Sim, all day long my son plays this obnoxious rock and roll music at full volume on his stereo. 
can't stand the music and it drives gives me a headache and shake the, na the neighbor's radios. When I tell him to turn it down, he pretends he can't hear me. What should I do? Signed, It's Too Loud. Dear It's, sneak in and turn the stereo down when he's not looking. Chances are he's already deaf and probably won't notice the difference. <laughs> oh. All right, yes. Every, every, every once in a while, we will, we will pause to read because they deserve to be read. Oh, a hospital! Hey, I bet you people want one of those. Let's get a hospital. There we go. Our uh, service is going here. All right, how's our thing? And people still want more residentials, and it'd help if I had power lines on. Mm -hmm. You know, if 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 the paper back in The Sims Three, if the paper carrier delivered a newspaper to your Sims and you told your Sims to read it, and a story like that would appear on your notification board, I would read that damn paper every single day. Cause yeah, someone came up with some hilarious algorithm for generating these news stories, and I have not seen it duplicated since. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But actually, it's probably a good thing that it was done. Let's oop, push it over to here. And let's get some. Oh, we're down to 31 bucks. Well, 31 bucks income. Anyway. Oop. Fusion power perfected ed. Vilnius University um, in the year 2067. So you hear that, guys? Maxis is calling it. <laughs> uh, Maxis is calling fusion power the holy grail of uh, physics um, in 2067. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. Um, let's see. What's a... Well, actually, hang on, let's read the research team led by the eminent Dr. Green has uh, designed fusion power villainous Vil, Vilnius Mayor Silva has presented the professor with the key to the community to celebrate the major event. Dr. Green nervously denied responsibility and he erected the breakthrough on the shoulders of his lab workers. They did everything. I just had a simple idea. Vilnius University President Justin is overjoyed with the fame this event brings his institution with fusion power. Um, to our credit, is Vin, especially the way, um, and especially will help our, our denizens. Vilnius University's attendance will fly off the charts. Hey, our fees could too. That last part was off the record. You won't print that, will you? <laughs> Let's see. Water shortage reported. Why am I not surprised? While well, you people building your freaking pools, of course there's a water shortage. You little greedy gu gusses. There. Eat water pumps, heathens. All right, let's see. What else are we doing? All right, I think it is time for our next major expansion here. Let's enough enough little dilly dallying and little little mini expansions here and there. We are gonna we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna go big. And we're not gonna go home because it's too early in the stream to go. Home. Besides, I'm home already, so that would be kind of redundant. With boom, boom, boom. 
Good, 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 good. Yay. One, two, three. Good. Excellent. Dense residential. Hit it. Hit it. Boop. Not come back. Dance residential. Boop. Dance residential. Boop. And just to no doubt fuel these new residentials with more water pumps, because we're going to be needing them. Yeah, well, that was one of the positive changes when they kind of streamlined that whole water and power thing. It certainly needs to be kept as a separate budget item, but um, constantly having to update it. Ah, select bridge. So, uh, let's... Uh, what bridge do you guys want here? Let's 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 get a chat vote going here. I need to refill my drink so I don't go all froggy on you. So why don't you guys vote on what kind of bridge we're setting up here? I go get myself a refill of my beverage. Be right back. All right, let's see here. All right, we're back. Raising bridge, suspension, raising, raising. All right. I think raising bridge is a sensible one here. Yeah, I gotta get even more stuff going here. More, more residentials. More traffic. Which need nip in the bud. Yeah, it's better. And pop. Up and pop. All right, and all right, we got the power going. Let's get the water flowing, hopefully, maybe, partially, kind of, sort of, maybe. At some point. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's. There we go. Sorry, just had to deal with something. There we go. All right, back, to, we're still, we're still in the black and that's a good thing. Because uh, you need to be mindful of when your power plants explode. Which actually, let's remind ourselves when it's going to explode. Boom. Um, all right. And we're at 84% capacity, so we need to be mindful of it. What are we doing here? Well, A plus. All right. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. And. Uh, there. Residential high density. 
construction that's me. The main difference between the high density and the low density um, stuff is that low density stuff only allows uh, little houses to appear, which is actually probably why. There. All right, so that time it let or not. Be be a blighted. When I'm gonna be playing the Bar Family, um, and probably uh, probably my next stream. I know I said that the last stream, but then this came out, and I'm like nostalgia. Uh, but the next barring barring any uh, huge things, uh, I'm probably the next week. Um, and the uh, update for uh, the jobs should be out then. Um, so that way, ooh, we are down to. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is this is when things get a little tricky. You need to be mindful of your expenses, and you, you you hit a wall where you start to run out of money, and you need to uh, you need to uh, build more power plants. At around the same time, mm -hmm. you need to worry about replacing your aging current one. Because yeah, if I build out too much more, if I if I zone too much more. We're going to start running into some power issues. Um, you know, let's check our let's check our newspaper show. Transparent heart disease. All right, I'm curious. Stated it before, and they stated it again. Cut the fat in the new book in your mouth, Dr. Mohammed Grandillo. Grandillo. Resident expert at Houston General convinced patients strong, uh, strongly admitted for chronic nasty rashes that changing their walk would improve their lives. Medical experts in what is called the Jack Spratt plan also stressed the importance of a low-fat diet, including, but by no means limited to, shark tongues. Uh, shark tongues. Yoga is also part of the plan. Uh, but some of the lawyers on the plan protested on grounds that the doctors actively pursue cures using dinosaur hormones. Uh, this will have serious ramifications for the future of fickle wood. Uh, in this thirsty reporter's opinion, only the future can tell. <laughs> oh, what is that? Um, what is that? That thing called um, uh, a Mad Lib? Where where you where you have like a story and it's like da 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 blank da 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 blank da 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 blank and you got to fill in the words. It sounds like the newspapers are just Mad Libs, procedurally generated Mad Lib. Wonderful. All right, we are starting to get our stuff back here. Um, all right, we're still making money, but not a lot. Yeah, what, what is the problem here? Because we seem to be doing well with our, uh, with our traffic. Because, I mean, these little blue dots are, are the levels of traffic. So this is m modest congestion. That's not so bad. It's when they're, like, really densely packed together. In fact... Tell me how many cars a minute that's going by. They were uh, oddly specific. Meanwhile, the bus systems are doing great. So the bus systems seem to be doing their job nicely, but we're still having all this mass abandonment. And this is another thing, another uh, quality of life thing is... Um, <laughs> In future titles, they told me when, when things went abandoned, they told me. Or at least they did in SimCity 4. I don't think they told me that in the most current SimCity. Um, SimCity with the five, with the number five for an S. But let's not talk about that. Sure, they fixed it up, but I'm not touching it. And that's all I will have to say on the measure, or on the matter. How are we doing here? Low, low. Yeah. Good. How are we doing in terms of supply? 
doing oh there we go all right still making money you want to make more Ooh, look at that traffic okay there there's our that's where all the <coughs> that's where all the traffic went i apologize my uh voice is starting to uh to go i might not be having this one go quite as long as my normal streams because i realized how strained my voice is right now Ugh. i'm coming down with something all right uh what do we got here so park yeah <laughs> This is all they had back in my day. This is all we had to choose from for our parks and such. Too small. I guess they prove. Apologize to anyone's ears because that was kind of loud. That was just a little bit loud. Um, more industry. The people. Wow, that's a big large factory. Oh, hey, I never powered this little. Oh, yeah. Ninety two. OK. Hmm, I seem to have painted my name corner. Yeah, that'll wake everyone. Hooray! Oh, man, there you're there. If you uh, that didn't wake you up, that did. All right, how? Uh, All right, let's see. What are we? All right, we're slowly building our cash back up, and uh, that's kind of what I want to do right now. So hang on, let's expand that. Mm. And let's cheetah it up. There we go. Hyper speed. We need cash reserves. More money. Giant slum. Hang on, that slum is just freaking bug. Hang on. Oh, Residence Demand Stadium. That's what it is. And that's 5,000. Well, forgot about the demand caps. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let's check the newspaper. Panama Loyalist destroys. Boy, apparently some crap's going down in Panama. In uh, 2074. Uh, students play fair. Um, taxes, unemployment, crime. Wished. Yeah, no, we're not really something. Street baseball improves. Oh. Plans for organized street baseball league are gaining momentum as masses of kids join the throngs of, that occupy our city roads to play baseball. Worried at first, commented one parent fleetingly, but cars can always turn down side roads. Traffic isn't a problem. Yeah, let's play baseball in the middle of the street. Councilman Walter Edward also endorses the move. I've got four children of my own. They want to play baseball as long as they wear leg pads. That's fine by me. Observers didn't believe the incident was true, although they did agree a few pleasant relationships were perfected as a result. When questioned on this issue, Mayor SimCity2000 Mayor countered, I have no comment at this time. Typical. Oh, right, the ordinances. Yeah, the youth league. So yeah, go go play in traffic, kids. That'll be good for your <laughs> Oh god. Oh Lord. All right. Eesh.
good. Good. Commercial zones are doing. But I think we are kind of at an impasse here. See, there's only a residence to do. Stadium. Residence flush up. We can't afford those things. How about a park? You guys want a park? Egg park? Big old park? Yeah, I think it is capping growth. Like, the city will literally not grow until I build them some fancy stuff. So let's try and build something fancy. That worked. Because I forget how to play this game. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's kick it back up to speed. All right, well, at least our money is kicking back up into there. That's always a good thing. But the, uh, the expansion of the population is still anemic, despite the really high residential demand. But on gambling to build a stadium? Well, be about 32 bucks a, a year. Um, income tax? Sure. Sales tax? Sure. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's put the spurs to these people. What a stadium, you're gonna have to pay for it. There we go. Eight oats. Or toots. As I frequently mispronounce your name. I swear that's not on purpose most of the time. That you guys are just too far? All right, we are getting our money back. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Enough with, enough with the cherry. Thank you. Sorry about that, folks. Water shortage reported. Of course, there's, a, there's always a. Why wouldn't there? What the? Heck? Up. Good. On we go. What in the hay is that? Weird looking condominium. Okay. That Maxis Theater is still stubbornly there and never goes abandoned. All right, we are building up our cashola. Still got 20 years left on our power plant, so I think we can build back up the money. Yeah, the slums bearing down the value, and hopefully they'd be re-inhabited, but uh, I think this demand cap thing is what's causing that. I'm, I'm saving up to build that big old stadium. Hopefully that will allow the residential residences to flesh themselves out. So that's why we're going hyperspeed here. There we go, okay. Pause this beast. Let's, uh, let's dezone some of this trash here. Actually, that's gonna get in my way. Uh, where do we want the stadium? That's a big old stadium. Yeah, let's do it right here. Ah, okay, so let's, let's get a, uh, Let's get some votes in here. What is the uh, what what sport do we uh, play, and what is the team name?
llamas for football. We got baseball, soccer, cricket, and rugby. Llamas. All right, one vote for llamas. Uh, soccer. All right. So one vote for soccer. You name the pins. Okay, pins. I can, I can go with the pins. Football llama is just as it says. Okay. One for soccer, one vote for football. A laugh for llama, a vote for soccer. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, so, so one football, one soccer. Can we get more votes? Can we get another? Uh, one or a tiebreaker, if you will. I was going to do baseball just because they uh, they mentioned baseball in the previous paper. Since that seems to be what all the kids want to be playing. But I'm sure they substitute a random, random sport for the uh, Mad Lib. All right, we got soccer. Soccer, okay, soccer takes it. Does not seem to let me rename it, so we're just going to, oh, it does, there we go. The pins. The soccer pins. Yay, it looks like a baseball stadium anyway. Yay. All right, people, you better you better start moving back in. I'm going to be pissed that I spent five grand on the stadium. Oh, uh, crap on a crap cracker. We are low on electricity. Ah, uh, yes, of course, power plant needed. Dang it, people, if it's not one thing, it's another. Hey. Even though that probably this thing's probably sucking up all the juice. Yay! We need to save up for a stupid power plant. At least we're still making monies. All right. So if I get the stadium and now if I save up for more power freaking plants, will you people please? Develop, expand my city. Oops. If I build a little commercial zones like right here and here, people want that. That make you happy? Will that make you happy? Will anything make you happy? What did I build right there? That was silly. That is a very silly road, right? Yeah. I apologize for the extreme destruction. Ah, oh, crap, crap, crap. No. I just, I just severed the power lines to the entire city. Ah, good one. Apparently I have to clear all the freaking rubble away. Freaking picky. Mm. Phew. All right. Well, going back to power, please, before you guys start mass abandoning. Thank you. Of course, you guys are still flashing zots, because, uh, yeah, out of juice. <laughs> Running out of little boop, boop, little corner grocery stores here. Yeah, house by that river. It's like it's beautiful, Riverside Estates, and it's also a gigantic freaking. But it's beautiful. 
Everyone, oh, no, 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 no. My hillside estates here are, are not doing well. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's our fusion power. Here's our solar. We're going to do a solar. And this one doesn't pollute, so we can give a hoot. Ah, that's... Yes, it's a fixer-upper. Well, actually, look, they're actually fixing or uppering it. And people are actually moving in there. Yay! It's not a giant slum. It doesn't... My city doesn't look like Newark anymore. Yay! Anyone who's ever been to Newark, New Jersey, you will know it. Uh. All right, what are we doing? You guys want more industry. Of course, of course. The horse. That's about as close as I am comfortable letting the industry come. I have to start backing into this area right over here before expansion. You just flatten this whole place. Still gotta do something about the traffic. You know what here? Let's plop down the stadium. I don't remember if the stadium itself causes traffic like it would in real life. Uh, oh yeah, let's uh, let's go to the newspapers see if. Um... Road rugby. Ah oh, well. Ornery negotiations. Oh boy. Talks between Afghanistan and Libya took a turn. You know, I think it's just insert random third world country and other country. Hawking, uh, uh, sort of hawking today over other mini, minor issues in the latest peace treaty. The treaty grants Afghanistan the southeast most tip of Libya. Interesting. Spokesman uh, Mustafa Yojimbo <laughs> says we ought to continue examining alternate proposals. Delegates from the other side charge Brazil with undoubtedly stalling negotiation. What's the Brazil have to do with this? Libya representatives deny everything. Toxic uh, commented about them. Several officers showed up for the event, but care but carefully left when they found out they had brought the wrong lantern for the occasion. <laughs> Local viewers replied, you must, you, you just don't see this kind of thing every day. We're quite, quite cantankerous. There's a, there's a word you don't see. We're quite cantankerous about it. What do you expect? He's in an air. Oh yeah, the, the price goes up as the year does, but not quite fast enough. So a, uh, since when can you guys get a full newspaper for $1? Yeah, that, that, that inflation's a beast in 2091. I don't know how they, uh, how they did it. All right, how's mm. our... Ah, only eight years left on this beast. Only eight years left, and I think I will pause the stream when my power plant goes boom. Because, uh, yeah, there's, uh, I don't know if I'll have enough money by then, and, um, oops. At least our residential zones are developing somewhat nicely. Will we get the $4,000 in time? Oh, that's the other thing. In um, in this game, when something abandons, um, the abandoned building that is placed on its plot. Um, yeah, field of win. Yeah, that was that was kind of the uh, that was kind of the the, the main strategy um, in this game because wind power plants don't die. They don't. They just live forever. Um, so you could just make wind. And actually, you know what the really broken one is? I'll tell you what the really broken one is. God, earthquake! Oh no! 
Wake rattles fickle wood in an earthquake room. Uh, measuring 7.6 on the Richter scale, rumbled fickle wood. Early morning hours, the quake centered on Paris. We're near Paris somehow? Realize we were in France. Uh, 50 miles south of Ficklewood. So yeah, we are, we are, we are 50 miles north of Paris apparently. So this is the French town of Le Ficklewood. Ha uh ha ha! Caused extensive damage and 50 death. A, the water pump was damaged, uh, bothering countless inhabitants close to it. Uh, reports so far suggest the damage may be in the thousands of dollars. Well, that's about what I have. Well, I have a thousand of dollars. Hope that's enough. Uh, many stories, including the new Sarah's Tea Accessories, confirm that the items fell off the shelves, thus breaking a lot of inventory and the current trend of slow-moving uh, inventory. Odds are 9 to 1 that all Ficklewood denizens will feel some effect of these events, especially if it interferes with the sale at Greenback's Bank this weekend. <laughs> Fickle wood, oh, yes. So yes, we are apparently in North France. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, let's let's assess the damage here, shall we? They mentioned a water thing is being damaged, but um, I don't see a uh, I don't see any damaged water thing, you guys. We may have dodged. A, a, oh nope, there's our damaged water thing. So one water one water pump couldn't make it, much to the anger of the. French citizen, ethical wood. Oh, cool. All right, well, the pins aren't doing so well this season. Well, they're doing okay. Doing better than the, the Buffalo Bills. I know that's a different sport. Okay, Giant Factory uh, rebuilt it. Our housey thing. Our thing. All right, our money's going back up. Uh, let's see, what other goodies can we get? Cheap apartment. Jeez, even with this solar power, it's still at 97%. Yeah, this city is getting close to its limits. But you know what? I think it. if, if we played this all night, uh, it would be able to continue burgeoning and growing. And remember that for this time, for its time, this um, this game was a this was ahead of its time for its time. Picklewood flourishing, woo! Picklewood has matured from a buzzing community with a to a bustling community with a population of over ten thousand. Municipality. Has more than earned a city hall, which will be donated by commerce and industry officials and Ficklewood commerce and industry constituents. Long supported the mayor, claiming that he makes Ficklewood a great place to do business. As soon as Mayor Sim City 2000 designates the spot for the new city hall, the structure will be constructed, standing actively as a sign of Ficklewood's growth and prosperity. Reports from De from from Denmark uh, indicate that cyclists there are colorful the situation well i'm glad you care about our growth denmark that's that's lovely um local celebrity will peterson was also seen at the scene saying this should really kill my career <laughs> okay i'm sorry mr peterson i'm sorry us doing well is killing your career um oh big earthquake in hamburg apparently All right, let's All right. Well, our, our money is going up. She's gonna blow! And I, and, um, 
Cop is arresting some guy. You're gonna die. That's lovely. Iraq struggle. Hey, guess that happened again. Man loves computer. Oh boy. Yeah, I've, I've been hit or miss rock with uh, with DOSBox. So I was lucky that it cooperated. I tried uh, I tried to do some uh, recording of Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri a while ago, uh, but it wouldn't play nice. Thankfully, this one plays nice. Dear Miss Sim, I'm having a problem with my with Barbara, my computer. We used to be nice friends. We would hang out. Work, play, you know, just have a good time. But of late, I find myself spending more and more time with Barbara, his computer, and less and less time with Sue Ellen, my wife, who now, who is now full of desire because of my bond. Of so, she, apparently, your wife is full of desire because he spends so much time on the computer. Like, oh, that makes me so hot. It's not as if I don't love Sue Ellen. Um, you love her enough to call her her full name every time you address her, uh, the wife, anymore. But she just doesn't interest me the same way as Barbara does. Oh, and I can't boot Sue Ellen out of my, any suggestions signed, teched out. Get your wife a mouse and maybe you'll feel different about her. <laughs> okay, so some guy with a computer fetish. Uh. All right, Mr. Power Plant, get ready to blow. <laughs> Boom. And nearing death. Let's see what other, uh, what other fun stuff. Rent a cop response. Is rising against criminals. Uh, in fact, we'll say town law enforcement officials who have hired 600 temps to help drain the lanes of thieves. With temporary workers to man the deck for our police officers, piloting the battle of justice, thugs and muggers alike will be will drown in blue. Blathered uh, police chief Jenkins. We stand by our mission as property and life preservers and guarantee the return of all stolen handbags. For now, keep your your valuables um, beautifully stowed. Added the police, the police chief candidly. When I asked how he plans to pay for the temporary police, Jim, uh, Chief Jenkins equivocated, steadily recur, um, recurring to upcoming community legislation. I'm not sure we should see investigating these your ordinance. Oh well, that wasn't as funny as the. Uh oh, it's it's got up to five dollars. It is twenty uh, twenty one hundred, and a newspaper is now five dollars. Oh no, um, it's about what it. Sunday. Okay, and so with that uh, being done, let us uh, see our our power plant explode. Oh baby, you can do it. I'm running out. Uh oh, hostilities flare in France. Dream fight. Then ticking. Yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, officials were busy massaging the, their pulled colleagues, and were unavailable for comment. But one plant employee said, "Of course, power plants blow up after 50 years. Is this news? Yeah, that's a totally natural thing." Uh, this is the most colorful, tepid, kinky thing I've ever spotted, shrieked one drummer. <laughs> A local historian was quoted as saying, it just proves the more things change. Okay, we, we got that one. Boom! And with that being said, our stream is at the end. With a, with, ending with a bang. Boom! So, uh, I hope you guys liked this uh, little bit of a romp in uh, Nostalgia Land. SimCity 2000 is uh, now currently free. 
uh, with the Games on Us program on Origin. So simply just go open up your Origin account if you have not done so already, and you can just get this game for free, forever, for keepsies, for, for awesomeness. And it is a most excellent piece of history. It comes bundled with the DOS box and all the helper programs that you need to run it on a modern machine. So go for it. It don't cost nothing. Um, also, check out uh, my YouTube channel um, if you want to see more stuff like this. I've sort of shifted my focus from streaming to YouTube stuff. So if you guys, uh, you, you guys miss hearing my voice... Um, and you want to get a little bit more of me, go check out my YouTube channel. I am currently running three games at the moment, uh, with episodes coming out daily. Um, the games being This War of Mine, the uh, Rosebud Challenge on The Sims 4, and also uh, Sid Nears Beyond Earth. Uh, so yeah, if you if any of those uh, interest you, go ahead and uh, check out my channel. Let me give you guys a link here in the chat. YouTube.com slash Pine Starch. And also don't forget to check out my, uh, my lovely wife, uh, Imagining Mystics channel. Um, YouTube.com slash Mystic. And she is also a uh, streamer that uh, streams twice a week, and she is uh, known on here as Imagining Mystic A. So, uh, let's see here. Aid. Any Raiders? Anybody streaming the night? Let's take a look. Hey. All right, let's see. Now, it looks like uh, exo both Exotic Kitten and um, uh, Dark Mimi are, uh, are uh, hanging out on WoW, uh, World of Warcraft. So, if you guys have any interest on that, um, why don't you guys uh, link here? Let me get a link here for you guys in the chat channel. Let's go to Exotic Kittens. Um, or maybe you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna post both links and you guys can each uh, you guys can choose who you want to raid. There we go. There's exotic kitten. And there's dark mammy. So just come on in, say uh, a pin star raid, a pin star raid. Uh, otherwise, you guys have yourself a uh, great rest of the night, and thanks for stopping by. It has been a fun one. Take care, everyone. Pin star out.